You hear the word extract all the time, but people don't really think much about it. Let me talk a little bit about extracts. One of the most common ones, of course, is one that you're familiar with, is coffee. What we do with the coffee beans, we grind them up, we add hot water, and you extract the flavor. You're actually extracting, believe it or not, hundreds and hundreds of different compounds, many of which have been characterized. Or you can take some insects. These are tiny little insects called cochineal. They grow uh, on cacti, or they're raised on cacti, mostly in the Canary Islands and also in, in Mexico. And we can extract a pretty neat color from them. This time we're going to do it with water. And you see we use only the uh, highest quality water. So what we have here is a water extract. It's a dye, and it's a very pretty dye. It's used in foods, it's used to color strawberry ice cream, cherry ice cream, etc. Some people don't like the idea of bug juice in their ice cream, but it's one of the oldest and safest dyes. But the one that is really interesting is substances that are extracted from plants that are used medicinally, drugs. And there are many, many drugs that you're familiar with that come from plants. Uh, uh, morphine, of course, comes from, from opium. Uh, colchicine comes from the autumn crocus. Uh, digitalis comes from the foxglove plant. Cocaine comes from coca leaves. But what does it really mean that you make an extract of a plant? Well, here I've got a plant. No, it's not what you think it is. It's just my office plant. And what one would normally do is, you know, grind it up a little bit uh, into smaller pieces. And then we would add a solvent to it. And in this case, the solvent that I'm adding is methylene chloride. And we would just soak it in there. And that extracts some of the, uh, of the chemicals. Now we have in here a bunch of chemicals, probably dozens and dozens and dozens. But what we want to do is separate the ones that are soluble in an organic solvent from the ones that are, separ that are soluble in, in water. This is what we call a separatory funnel. So I would add some water to this. And now I would add my extract. What we have here is a partitioning between water and methylene chloride. And normally at this point, what we do is we give it a good shake. What happens now is that we get a partitioning between the substances that are soluble in water and the substances that are soluble in chloroform. The two liquids do not mix, separated, and we can then draw off, in this case, the bottom layer, which is the methylene chloride layer. So in here now are a bunch of organic compounds. I don't know how many, of course, came from this, this plant material. But at this point, we would carry out a separation using a technique called chromatography and put this solvent onto a column, let it percolate through. The compounds would be separated. Eventually, we boil off the solvent, and we would get a pure white material. And uh, that could be used in many ways and possibly drugs. The classic example is to take the bark of the yew tree and uh, carry out an extract like this and isolate a white substance called taxol, which is used in the treatment of cancer. So now you have some idea of what we mean by carrying out an extract. And it's a a lot more than just the one that you're familiar with, although that's a pretty good one. Hmm.